Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. This is just a point and talk <laughs> video. Well, that's what I call them when I just hold the camera and talk so you don't get to see me. I'm hiding. Um, I was going to do an unwrapping video and then I thought, well, how on earth can I keep that a secret? You know, the long, the longest orchid in the world? Nah, wouldn't have worked. You'd have guessed, wouldn't you? So why have I bought canes then? What have I got that's big, that has really tall flower spikes that often need staking? Cymbidiums. And we do have spikes already. Now that cymbidium grows upright spikes that don't really need staking. But as a precaution, I will stake them anyway. Now, that big cymbidium nearly got kicked across the floor. When I got the cymbidiums out to water them, next to this cymbidium is my dendrobium infundibulum. And it knocked it onto the floor, and I, I quickly went, oh, it's okay. No, it's not. It broke the top off of my latest cane. Now, I don't know what that's gonna do to the plant. That might trigger another new growth at the base, which is what I hope. The problem is that with a very few exceptions, where do all the buds come? They come at the top of the cane, mainly starting in the apex and sometimes working down a bit. Well, the apex has been broken off. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I was a little annoyed and I uttered a few words about it to myself. <laughs> well, there's no point saying them out loud. There's nobody can hear them. Anyway, so that was that, and um, that's what the canes are for. Um, the fourth blackjack is opening, and on that point, the everything in bloom on the 8th happens to be fall on Wednesday next week, so I will be doing it either on Tuesday or Thursday, because we now have a regular Wednesday event. The same as we have for the next few weeks, a regular Friday event and we have the regular Sunday event. It's the eighth that's once a month that will move if it conflicts with any of the other regulars. So, um, so everything in bloom on the eighth will probably be on, uh, on the Tuesday. Now, um, I'm not filming much today because um, I've been out and about this morning. I've had another hole punched in my shoulder. I've had my COVID booster jab this morning. Now, I've been lucky because um, I don't think I've had the virus, although I did have a period where I thought I might have had it. Um, I don't get colds and flu and that type of thing. It doesn't, they, they don't affect me. So for me to get, you know, the snuffles and sore throat and aches around my neck is odd. And I had that for a period of three or four days. I can't even remember when, it's quite a while ago. So I may have had a very mild version of COVID, but... I didn't go anywhere to get it confirmed. I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> it wasn't bad enough. Uh, so I've had that done this morning and um, I booked Mojo in to go and have his claws done again. Because he's, um, where he doesn't go outside as much as he used to around the other house. And it's a thing with older cats as well. Although he's got a scratching pad, which is supposed to deal with the, you know, the sheaths around the end of the claws so that they don't grow too long. It doesn't work and his claws can curl round. They've done it before and they actually broke the skin and his feet got infected, so it was quite bad. So I pop him round the vets. He doesn't like it, but it's better than the consequences of um, not getting it done. So he's got to go and have his uh, claws clipped next week. Um, it's quite honestly, it's the journey it's, he doesn't like. He doesn't like going in his carry crate. Doesn't like being shut in. He doesn't like the car. Once he gets to the vet and he comes out of his crate, he's, he's friends with everybody. <laughs> oh, silly cat. Anyway, so that's got to be done. Um, I don't know about you, but that looks like it might be a spike. A possibility, yeah? Possibility. And... Was there one over here? I'm sure there were two paths. 
No, perhaps not. Perhaps I'm dreaming. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Wishful thinking. It certainly wasn't one of these over here, was it? Because this, both of those have got buds on. This bud's getting nice and big now. Yeah, so uh, this sun um, that I bought at Burnham's with the six spikes, the spikes are pushing on now and starting to form their buds. Now, if these spikes don't form branches, then they're not going to have many blooms per spike and they're going to be quite spread out. Um, that's an unknown at the moment, so I'm just letting them grow. In theory, I should stake those, but these are rigid, and there's no, I don't think these are large blooms, so I don't think that's going to need staking. It'll be fine, <clears throat> but certainly some of the cymbidiums will. Um, yeah, so that's all for today. Um, Sunday chat as normal, on Sunday, tomorrow, providing I don't get a any form of reaction to this jab I've just had. I haven't done in the past. I can't even remember how many I've had. Four, I think. Three? Four? But apart from the sore shoulder, um, I've had no after effects. I know, peop I know some people do get quite nasty after, after effects, but it hasn't affected me so far. But that doesn't mean to say it won't, so uh, we shall have to wait and see. But I'm just going to have a relatively lazy day today. Um, it's well after lunchtime now, and uh, yeah, I, ju I just fancy having a. The rest of the day is a lazy day, but um, these are nice canes. They're um, virtually a meter long. Obviously, they can be cut down a bit if um, if they're too long, because I don't, you know, canes that are too long are going to get in the way. Um, for instance, if if I stake spikes on these down here then the stake will be longer than the shelf. And I got extra long ones because of the size of the pots, so that a good amount of stake can get down in the pot and not be all loose and floppy. So, uh, yes, I mean, Hannah got those. She, she has Amazon Prime. So although we could have got them a little bit cheaper elsewhere, but I'd have had to wait ages for them. And um, there, there would have been postage and everything. So uh, Hannah ordered them and get some delivered here and then we don't pay postage because she pays for Prime. So uh, that was that. And we've got nothing to do with orchids, but we've got a gorgeous smash of colour. Um, <laughs> splash, not smash. <laughs> gorgeous splash of colour on one of my bonsai maples. Hopefully that stayed in focus at distance. But yeah, just that one. The one behind it has pretty good colour but not as good as that one. That one's absolutely stunning. If it could get some sun on it it would be you know it would it would be brilliant but uh, it won't. <laughs> so um, yeah I mean there, there is actually a there's a new gardening video. Oh I must tell you about this because it, it, if you don't follow the gardening channel you wouldn't know. Now when I first got here because there were nut hatches in the trees around, and I know that they come to bird feeders, I set up some bird feeders. And was it yesterday or the day before? Over the last day or two, I let the I let set the camera up and just let it run on the feeders, and then edited the highlights. If you see what I mean. So on the gardening channel, there's a nice video of the birds coming and going on the feeders. The ones I've got at the moment. There are still several species, I can think of three at least, that are not regularly coming to the feeders that were the first winter. But it's not proper winter yet. If you think about it, it hasn't got cold yet, we're not into frosts, and a lot of the trees are still in full leaf. Yeah? So the birds are not feeling hard done by yet. And I think as winter progresses, I may get a few extra species. But anyway, um, that sort of video originally would have been on the Orchid channel. But now that is, that's gardening stuff. So it's on the gardening channel if you want to pop across and watch that. And if you're not subscribed when you get there, please do so. <laughs> Trying to get those numbers up. And um, obviously watching the video helps with the watch hours. But um, 
yeah, I'm still I'm still about 60 short on the sub, on the subscribers that I need for that channel. So uh, when you get there, if you haven't subscribed, it will be nice if you did did so. And and it's a nice little video. It's it's quite a few quite a variety of birds came to the um, came to the feeder, including one that has not been on the feeder before, and it actually sat on the top of the feeder. It didn't actually feed, it just visited. So, <laughs> you certainly won't have seen that one. So, uh, anyway, I just thought I'd mention that because uh, if you haven't got notifications set, um, then you wouldn't know there was a new video on the gardening channel because obviously there's not many getting posted over there at the moment because there's not much going on in the garden. So, uh, yeah, I shall leave it at that and um, see you tomorrow for the Sunday chat. Bye for now.